How long is each of these? They're actually really time consuming since I used, I wanted to use something really light because a lot of the fans that I have weren't very powerful. So it had to be a little enough so that the air currents would pick it up. But, so these are all made with fire charcoal. And so they're, I think, um, the darker ones took maybe 30 or 45 minutes depending on how long I just let it. So I usually just like, walk away and do something. But in some of the pages I turned, like those ones on the end, I made with this little fan and I, I turned that one, the page. This one I turned. Meaning you, 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 yeah, you physically you manipulated the paper? Yeah, like I, I would have, I think this one I left on for like 45 minutes or 30 minutes, and then I turned it the other way, and then I let it go, and that was maybe this one. Okay. Um, well, I, would, I wanted something more natural, like wind or water, and I just did not work out, but, um, I don't actually know how I chose fans, I don't remember. <laughs> I think I just had them like lying around the house and so I was, I, I just decided to let it go and I had some ribbon, a lot of ribbon, and so I was trying to think like what I could do with that and then like charcoal and so um, it just happened. So after a while it makes some interesting marks, like with this fan, um, these drawings were made with it, and like I moved the paper on um, all of them, I think, like this one I moved down, and those are rotating, but that one's really time consuming because, I don't know why, but this is, and the ribbon, since it's so long, keeps getting caught around the other truck one, so, fight sometimes. Were there rules that you followed for yourself? Um, I didn't draw on the paper at all. I didn't really even want to move the paper, but like I left, I started, this was my very first one, and I, left, I only left it on for like five minutes. Are they in chronological order? Um, well, I just, I tried to group them, I don't, I don't remember. I think, I know that one, not, I think the green one was maybe my last one, and I just tried to use it with, um, I think that's just pastel. The one above it is my very last one, but I think it's one of But I had, I actually had all three of them going at the same time. Mm. So. Can you talk a little bit, we did have an interesting conversation, can you talk a little bit about that, the whole conversation about um, acoustics and the symphony as an analogy? That was really cool actually. Um, I wish I could have all, all right now, but I have a, they were supposed in my room, so it's, I had my door closed, and so it was, like all the fans blowing at one time, and then you could hear this tapping like on the wall, which I'm sure my neighbors loved. But that was kind of powerful because I couldn't really hear anything besides the fans and like the paper moving and like the wall and the charcoal tapping, and that was really cool. And I wanted to do something like that, but I beat the orchestra effect, but it just it didn't work out. So. Really interesting. <clears throat> that kind of sounds like rain or something. Yeah, it's very delicate, and that's. I think that's why I'm, like, I'm okay with these drawings. Like I, I'm not really. I wish I could have done something like bigger, and, like, or it had something like turning paper instead of me turning it. But they turned out really soft and delicate, and I, like, I really love that. Just since it's like wind moving it, and just fine charcoal. And it's really, just, like, I mean, every single one of these pieces, well, I guess we can't hear snails, but, but uh, <laughs> most, most of the pieces have some kind of sonic component to it, even if it's incredibly, incredibly quiet. Um, if there's motion, there's usually some sound connected to it, um, you know, whether it's the dripping of, of mats. Um, tubes that if, if we were in a super quiet room and if it was on fast enough you could probably hit hear the drip hit the paper you know or, or Luisa's you know machine that, that is kind of you know jumping and trembling and you know this I, I, you know I like that analogy sir of the whole idea of rain you know like a kind of soothing quality to that sound 
I mean, it's such a fine line between something being annoying and driving you crazy, like a repetitive dripping faucet, versus you know the sound of rain. Um, you know, what is that difference acoustically, right? What is calming? If it was just the scratching, maybe that would bug me after a while. Yeah. The wind with it, it kind of balances it out. It's like very soothing white noise. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think of um, the decision to just leave the fan as a fan? Um, is that fine with you? Um, or would you want the fan, this, like, do you want the fan in a plywood box so that you don't see the fan and you just hear the sound? Or do you like the idea of the fans being 